He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is an on-time God. Mm. Literally, he may not come when you think he should come. He may not come when you see fit for him to be present. He may not do a miracle when you see fit for him to do it. But I can assure you and tell you that when he does it, you would say, wow, if he had done it when I think thought that he should have done it, it wouldn't be what it is now. You will begin to see that God's ways, this is why the scripture says his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They are higher. They are higher than we can ever think. They are higher than we can ever do. Excuse my voice. He's on time. He's on time. And I just want to really speak, speak into your spirit today to know how on time God is. No matter what your situation is looking like, no matter what everything is sounding like right now, okay? When the doctor is saying, no, God, <laughs> he will come through on time. And I know a lot of people, and I can say this because I was one of those people where um, I used to think like, how can God be so on time in everyone's life at one time? Like, how can I fast and pray today and in the moment of um, doing that God is hearing me and he's with me but maybe 7.17 billion other people is doing the same thing at the same time of me how can God like really pay attention and be intentional with you know one soul and 17,000 at the same that's because he's sovereign He's sovereign. I don't know why I was felt to explain this. There's are there's some of you that really needed this edification of that specific topic right there. God is sovereign. He's all knowing. He's all powerful. He's everywhere at one time. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. God is sovereign. And this is why he can deliver you and 17,000 people at the same time. This is why he can hearken unto you in your prayer and 17,000 people at the same time. This is why he can show up right on time with you and with 17 other people at the same time. So now you you gain some understanding of a characteristic of your father, of your creator, of your Lord and your savior. He is sovereign. And many of you are going through things right now. Many of you are in a wilderness right now. Many of you are dealing with turmoil, trials and tribulations right now in this season. But God needs you to know don't focus and pay and focus on what's transpiring around you better yet pay attention to what god needs you to know and hear as you're going through because there's things that god is pouring out in this season and if you don't pay attention you will miss it so pay attention don't pay attention to the wrong that's happening don't pay attention to what they're saying about you don't pay attention to the no's that you're getting pay attention hearken unto god's voice pay attention to okay well being that these things are transpiring and i know that i have a loving father i know that i have a loving savior and lord hmm that means he's doing something that means he's pouring out something something that i need to grasp something that i need to see let me get into his presence and see and pay attention and focus on him versus what's transpiring around me and i'm telling you beloved look how god is shining his light on his word hallelujah and i'm telling you that you will see exactly what he needs you to see you would hear exactly what you he needs you to hear and in that you will see god's presence his works his miracles his abundance his promises you will see them manifest and show up in a way you never could have imagined and then you will really be able to live the life in that testimony of he may not come when you want him but he'll be there right on time i tell you he's an on-time god he's an on-time god 
He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Remember that his timing is divine. His timing is perfect. His timing is on time. I love you so much. Bless up yourself. You're done with the tinga already. I hope you are having a beautiful and blessed Sunday. And at the same time, um, I did want to mention this too. So it is, you know, what I call the new season, right? New year. And um, normally every new year we do a 21 day fast. And now as I say this, I don't need any, you know, people with religious spirits over and on them we're, we're praying for you right but i don't need you to come tell me that oh well nobody's supposed to know you're on a fast no when god moves someone to do a corporate fast a fast that's with multiple people together you cannot knock that okay and, and how can you knock god with his word so I did not start the 21 day fast on the first, but I will be starting it tomorrow, tomorrow, January the 9th, okay? So whoever feels led to join in on this fast with the CB17 Visions family, let's keep the vision. Let's continue to be that visionary of Christ that we are and let's come onto one accord. Let's come into alignment. Let's come in one, okay? in doing this fast let's come into agreement and let's watch god be on time and and i want you to be intentional on what you're fasting for write it down be intentional if you're fasting to 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 restore your marriage write that down if you're fasting to become more spiritually inclined to god's voice write that down if you're fasting for the healing of you your body or your family member or your friend write that down whatever you are fasting for and believing god for write it down and let god show you how he moves let him show you his movements let him show you how powerful he is and let him show you how on time with it he is. You understand? All right. So we will start tomorrow, 12 midnight. And we'll go all the way for 21 days. Okay. And if you don't know what the 21 day fast consists of, it is the Daniel fast. I would challenge you to go into the book of Daniel and read. Or you can also look up like what does the 21 day corporate daniel fast consist of and you can see I'll, I'll put a link down here just so you can like you know look into it and stuff before we start tonight midnight but um i love you guys so much okay god is really doing something in this new season things that we've never heard before or seen before and i'm ready are you i'm ready so let's do this and let's do it together in agreement, okay? Bless up on yourself. Listen, tomorrow is Monday, right? Which means it's moving Monday tomorrow. You don't want to miss the new moving Monday. Tomorrow, the visual will be, will be releasing at 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll drop the link there in the description as well. And remember, we live stream every Monday. So I hope to see you on our live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, okay? I love you guys so much. And thank Thank you to everybody that has tuned into the new season season number two of cool baby expresses podcast okay season number two uh episode one was released yesterday okay so if you haven't seen that i'll put the link there in the description as well go get what god is speaking god is really doing major things and he's not just doing one new thing he's doing many multitudes of new things in this new season are you gonna put yourself in a position to receive it that's the question Okay, I love you guys so much. Bless up yourself. You've done the thing already. Cool, baby, there. Yeah. Guidance and some time. The world is I thought you said anything. Open the lights. I can't say, yeah, yeah.